In this video, we will look at an abstract algorithm to implement the greedy method. This algorithm is also known as control abstraction or greedy method. Let us call this algorithm as greedy. This algorithm takes A as an array and the second parameter is N that is the number of inputs. Then within the algorithm we have a variable solution that is initially null. That is the solution set is empty. Then we need to look at each input in array A. So we will have the for loop from i 1 to n because there are n inputs. Then within this for loop we will select the input using the selection function. The select function selects the input and removes the input from array A and assigns the input to variable x. So variable x will be storing the selected input. Then we will check if the solution x is feasible using the feasible function. The feasible function is a Boolean function and will return true if solution x is feasible. Otherwise, the feasible function will return false. So if the solution x is feasible, then it is included in the solution set using the union function within the if statement. Otherwise, the input is removed and never considered again and the for loop is executed again for considering the next solution. This general algorithm for greedy method is also known as control abstraction. What this means is that the flow of control for the approach is defined in the algorithm but operations are functions that is select function, feasible function, and union function are left undefined and depends on the problem being solved. So, this is the control abstraction for the greedy method.